Traffic was a mess, no and I got a parking ticket. Why didn't you just have the PAs go pick him up? I asked him to, but he told me to do it. Well, just tell him to go, Jeff. What, are you scared of the PA? No. <laughs> Very funny. Look, I'm not going to get into a major confrontation with the guy over a coffee run. I'll tell you, this PA, real piece of work. Guy gets all over me because I'm having a bowl of cereal. If I want a free bowl of cereal, I'll have one. I can't believe that. I mean, when I was a PA, the crappy things that I had to do... After Lately is a show... Um, about the backs, about the behind the scenes goings on at Chelsea Lately, which is the late night talk show. And this isn't the first time you've seen a show like that. You know, there's 30 Rock and there was Larry Sanders, but this is the first time that there's actually a, a real show that we work on, which you can see weeknights on E! Chelsea Lately. And then you see us being ourselves, playing ourselves, having the real relationships that we have with, with each other, but it's scripted like a Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, my God. Seriously? Sit down. Really, Vanderbeek? You tattled on me, huh? You brought this on yourself. Yeah? Well, I yeah. thought we could handle this like two mature celebrities, but I guess we can. Which is why I brought Chelsea in, so there would be two celebrities in the room. Being a real talk show, we were able to have wonderful guest stars on that either been on guest stars on Chelsea lately that we work into the storylines, or sometimes they're just Chelsea's good friends and they agreed to do it, like Jen Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. I was in a great mood until Vanderbeek came walking in and that shirt. Why do you think that you should be able to wear that shirt when our guest comes and is wearing the shirt? Because I'm a regular on the show. I'm on the show all the time. I've established a look, and I think people who watch the show want to see me in this look. We have separate writers who we tell the storylines to because all the storylines of After Lately are all um, inspired from things that truly happened. It's sort of a passive-aggressive way to tell someone at, the, at work how much it bugs that something they do bugs you, and then all of a sudden the script comes and we're like, oh, my God, Kit's going to die when she reads this. Like, she's got to know that this is somewhat the truth. Well, on the streets of Hollywood, I've heard James oh. is kind of not cool. Oh, That's now you're going to yeah. make this a personal yeah. thing? Yeah. You know, you know what I've heard about you? What? Absolutely nothing. 